It's Thursday, the 5th of August. My name's Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel. A quick update on the river fire that impacted the communities here in Nevada and Placer County, very near the Grass Valley, Nevada City area and the town of Colfax. As of this morning, the estimates are the fire burned about 1,400 acres. Current rough, very rough estimates are 35 to 40 homes lost. This will be updated soon. We have no mapping yet of the fire, but I want to show you on the map based on initial reports from KCRA three reports. Brian Hickey drove around the fire scene this morning and gave us an idea of where the fire was and was not. The river fire started at the Bear River campground in, on the Bear River just outside of the town of Colfax near Interstate 80. That started about 2 p.m. in the afternoon and exploded up out of the canyon or up through the canyon, driven by winds, gusty winds, out of the south-southwest as a weak cold front passed through the north end of the state. So the fire started right about here in this area and then headed up these couple of drainages, the Bear River drainages. So as of this morning, it looks like the impacted area... The 1,400 acres, let's go to the satellite view, is going to be just west of Colfax. It bumped right up this draw to the backside of the Colfax High School and, of course, up the main Bear River drainage and up this drainage up towards Highway 174, but apparently... Not much damage up here by the dam or the bridge of 174. It worked its way up this drainage towards Mount Olive Road. Located right up here. The Chicago Park store. So up this drainage, and you can see from the satellite view all the heavy vegetation down in the canyon. And then as the fire popped out of the canyon up into the um, flatter areas that are mostly agriculture land and residential, the fire tended to settle down. So up south of Mount Olive Road and west of Dog Bar Road, but down closer in towards the canyon is where the fire impact area is. As of this morning, this fire is pretty well laid down. It's basically, hopefully, for the most part, out. We're expecting more winds up out of the south-southwest today. But hopefully, nothing will escape and get going again on this fire today. We had a huge air attack of uh, over 14 air tankers. This is a change in policy from the U.S. Forest Service. And the U.S. Forest Service is working directly with CAL FIRE now in a much more aggressive effort to get on these fires early. Even though this was a Cal Fire fire, we had a lot of federal assets helping us out on this fire as our smaller S2Ts were mostly spread out throughout other fires throughout California. So we got out of the 14 air tankers today, only two S2s, but all the rest were heavy or very heavy air tankers. This is uh, my friend Tim O'Brien with his permission. Uh, he has a very strong telephoto lens. He's a professional aviation photographer. Some of the flame lengths they, he was experiencing. These pictures are shot from several miles away. That's one of the lead planes laying down smoke. I'll show you on the map here where this uh, aerial attack was mostly played out on the fire location. There's the tanker 911, the DC-10 air tanker. There's the tanker, another DC-10 air tanker. The Ericsson, this is a... Um, series of photos the ericsson md87 air tanker remember he's got a drop with his gear down because of the rear mounted engines the colson c-130 air tanker note how well those trees that he's are in the background that he looks very low over nevertheless he's very low look at him saturate that retardant into the this foliage that's the problem with this retardant is that it's somewhat effective, but the fire continues to spot beyond retardant lines. So they can only work along the flanks of the fire. There was nothing firefighters really could do towards the head of the fire other than escape and evacuate, get people out of the way and get firefighters out of the way as the fire continued to spot going forward. So the air 
attack was basically on the left flank of the fire. And I'll show you here on the map. More of the DC-10. You can see how the retardant disperses down on the vegetation after the drop. About coverage level 8. And we also had an unprecedented uh, help from the MAFs, the Modular Airborne Firefighting Forces C-130 aircraft out of McClellan. There's uh, eight of these aircraft nationwide. We've got four or five of them at McClellan, and I think we had four of these aircraft, half of the nation's fleet of MAFs aircraft on this 1,400-acre fire yesterday here in Nevada and Placer counties. I'll have a detailed report on that. Me and Kellen were down at the uh, air attack base at McClellan yesterday. Stand by for that report when I get it together. Another MAFs drop and then a Colson drop. So looking at the map, if this is the ignition source of the fire, the Bear River campground, and it was driven by the winds towards the north northeast, this would be the heel of the fire, this would be the left flank of the fire, and this would be the right flank of the fire towards Colfax. So this air attack primarily concentrated yesterday along the left flank of the fire as there was clear air that the tankers could safely operate, and they were anticipating that overnight, this fire would turn back on itself and potentially push towards the south and the west. So in anticipation of that, plus the having a good location with which to work, that's where the primary aerial attack and retardant lines were laid on the left flank or west side of the fire. Again, looking at the terrain, you don't fight the fire down in the canyon you wait till it comes up to the top and then try to draw a, a line draw a line around the fire up here in the more level terrain and that's where the air attack was going on looks like along or around the dog bar road area so cal fire have an official briefing here this morning and hopefully we'll finally start getting some mapping data remember day one of these fires is very chaotic it's mostly an evacuation get out of the way sort of situation we between nevada and placer counties uh, over 6500 people were evacuated and at this point still the entire town of colfax is evacuated as we get more information we'll pass it on here thanks so much for your support of this channel and over on patreon that make this content possible see you here